Welcome back to Wealthology. For today's video, we will be going to talk about how to achieve a 30% return per year using Warren Buffett's investing rules. Let's get started. Number one, if the business does well, the stock eventually follows. So when Warren Buffett first picked up one of the best investing books of all time, he discovered this rule. Graham, who eventually became Buffett's mentor, was a smart investor. One of the guidelines in the book was actually quite straightforward. The rule pursued Buffett that owning a stock entails owning a share of a business. And if they are firm this well in the long run, the stock will do well as well. So keep an eye out for the companies that will rule in the future. Those who have a high profit margin are ahead of the competition and their customers love them. As part of the business, you don't need a complicated guys to stock. And if their business succeeds, so will yours. Number two, most news is noise, not news. Buffets may hold a controversial opinion, but most of the news you read is actually unnecessary when it comes to investing. You see, news organizations such as CNBC, news websites, and financial YouTubers are all compensated to gain as many views as possible, so they create as much hype or tension as possible, as well as as much news as possible, in order to attract those views and thus earn more money. You really only need to pay attention to about 5% of that news. As Buffett says, owners of stocks, however, too often lead their capricious and often irrational behavior of their fellow owners to cause them to behave irrationally as well. Because there is so much chatter about markets, the economy, and arrest rates, price behavior of stocks, etc. Some investors believe it is important to listen to pundits and worse yet important to consider acting upon their comments don't bother about the pundits or the majority of the news just pay attention to the vital importance aspects number three when you buy a stock a plan to hold it forever now, we hope you've been taught this financial theory before. When you received dividends or capital gains and allows them to compound on themselves and grow like a snowball, you can make a lot of money. However, if you frequently purchase and sell stocks, you're not allowing compound interest to work for you and you'll miss out on a lot of gains, just like the blue line. That's why they say the markets are all about time, not time in the markets. So when it comes to investment, the trick is to never expect to hold a higher quality company indefinitely. That's why Warren Buffett has owned Coca-Cola, Wells Fargo, and American Express for more than 25 years. When common stock is purchased, the moment to sell is almost never, as the grateful Fisher said, if the work has been done right. Number four, only listen to those you know and trust. The beautiful thing about investing is that you are not alone in this. Even Warren Buffett has spent his whole investment career learning from listening to other investors. He had the investing guru Benjamin Graham when he was younger, who taught him the ropes of investing. He always had Charlie Munger at his side as he grew older to see if he had the right perspective on things. And fortunately, for us, we have some fantastic investors to listen to and learn from. The attractive aspect of investing is that you are not alone. Even Warren Buffett has spent his whole career as an investor learning from and listening to others. He learned that basics of investment from investing guru Benjamin Graham when he was younger. And he grew older. He always had Charlie Munger by his side to make sure he was on the correct track. Fortunately, we have some terrific investors to learn from and listen to. Number five, understand what you're investing in. This is a pretty easy guideline, yet one that few people adhere to. That is, learn about the firm you're investing in. If we look at Warren Buffett's portfolio, we'll see one thing you'll notice is that many of the businesses he owns are actually quite simple. Coca-Cola is a company that sells soft drinks and has expanded its operation to include food as well. Southwest Airlines is a flying firm that makes money by selling flights. Furniture Mart sells furniture. Apple sells iPhones and other 
other technologies, and so on. Warren Buffett makes certain that he understands a firm before purchasing a stock, and you should only do so on rare occasions. If you like cars, look at Ford, Toyota, and Tesla. If you add e-commerce, Amazon, and Alibaba to the mix, look at the companies like Alphabet, which owns Google and YouTube. If you enjoy the internet world, there are stocks available to buy for almost any hobby or interest, only those businesses that you are capable of comprehending. Number 6. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This is a rule that is particularly pertinent in today's market. The thing about the current market conditions is that we've been in a bull market for roughly 11 years, during which time stocks have increased by almost 30%. When it comes to the stock market, everyone believes they are geniuses because everything has been increasing and everyone is profiting. This naturally leads to one conclusion. because of their overconfidence and investment talents, everyone becomes greedy. What effect do you believe this will have to stock prices? Well, it inflates prices excessively. Everyone wants to invest. But as stock prices rise, finding a bargain in the stock market becomes increasingly difficult. These are the moments when we must be cautious and wary of our assets. And Buffett is doing precisely that. He has a total of $214 billion in publicly traded equities and $128 billion in cash. That's a substantial sum of money in cash. In these market conditions, he is now taking a very cautious technique. You could say he was terrified. You can bet your bottom dollar though. That happens as soon as the stock market begins to panic. Warren Buffett's greed will kick in and he will be snapping up a lot of stocks when they're on sale. Number 7. Buy at a price below intrinsic value. When it comes to investing, if you don't follow this rule, all of your other rules will be thrown out of the window and your investment strategy would be meaningless. It is not worth an infinite price. No matter how good the company is, how good the managers are, on how much you understand the company, and you must ensure that the price you are paying is less than or equal to the intrinsic value of the item. Let's imagine you're considering purchasing a Lamborghini. There's no denying that this is a highly quality vehicle. There is no doubt that the designers took great attention and precision when creating this vehicle. But there is one thing you must ask. Is it worth your money? Is it really worth $350,000? Remember that no car is worth an endless amount of money. And the same is true for business flash stock. As a result, Warren Buffett believes that no company, no matter how wonderful, it's worth an infinite price. Price is what you pay value is what you get. And in order to know the value of each stock, you first need to know how to calculate the intrinsic value. So which of Warren Buffett's investing principles have you found to be particularly beneficial? Please let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Stay tuned for our next video.